by the time it lands, won't I just collapse when it comes to me? Then how I overcome it? My mom and my dad, my sisters, they always remind me of prayer. And whenever I, I get to know that they are around, or whenever I remember what they say to me, I keep moving and I forget that those things happen. So that's how I overcome my fears. Okay, when it comes to me, my biggest fear, this is when a tiny little girl goes to stage. Hmm? And now everyone is, remember that, not everyone wants to see you on stage. Not everyone, trust me. You go on stage, there are those ones saying, yeah, yeah, she's on stage. And there are these ones are like, boo, let her go. Okay, how I overcome this fear? I don't look at people's faces. <laughs> I look on top of their heads, you know? Be like, now I'm, I'm just seeing on top of their heads. I'm going to dance. That's how I overcome that fear. And then there is also this fear. When you're practicing, you people, when you're practicing, remember, when, let me say this, the entertainment staff is like, you people, make sure you make it. Tomorrow is that day. Every group is practicing. You're here, the other group is practicing on your left. And then this team, these other, your teammates are like, you people, we are not going to make it. See how these people are dancing. <laughs> So the only way you have to overcome that, you have to just look forward. Be like, I am me, I'm, as, I'm myself, I'm going to make it. So that's how you have to overcome that. Okay, um, my biggest fear is failure. Like, be it basketball, be it fashion, be it football, chess, whatsoever. It's failure. Like... I don't like failure, like, it's a way I feel, you know, less of a man, and, okay, like, I feel small, and I don't want to be small, I want to be, like, up there in the clouds, like, among the big guys, you get, eh? So, like, um, yeah, the way I, f like, face that fear is by trying, like, even though I'm scared, at least I know I tried, like, a wise man once said, Fear is a state of mind, but facing it is a state of mind, heart, and soul. Like, you just have to give it your all. Because, like, if you're scared, you can never know, like, the opportunity that can come out of it. And you can never know. You can make it. You cannot make it. And even if you don't make it, it's okay. Like, there is next time. Next time is always there. You fail today doesn't mean that you'll fail tomorrow. It means that there is a better opportunity coming for you tomorrow. Um, my greatest fear is people's judgment and opinion. I know it's not supposed to be one of the things that people are supposed to care about, what people think about them or what, but I'm so scared that people are going to judge me, yet they do not know even much about me. They don't know where I come from. They don't know what I've gone through. They don't know the struggles that I go through to do what I'm doing, to be determined as I am. It's all through the things that I've gone through for me to do this that pushes me to this extent. But whenever I feel like what should I do? What should I tell them? What should I say? How can I change their opinion and their judgment about me? I always remember some lyrics and some song, and it's, how will they know your song if you haven't written it yet? So I feel one time, one day, maybe, sometimes you don't need to tell everyone about your weaknesses, because when they get to know your weakness, they will have to use it against you. So most of the times I'm like, maybe one day I'll write a book about my story to inspire a lot of people and people may be out there that will understand me, that feel the way I am, will come out to also speak about their lives, about how they feel. So that is my greatest fear, and that's how I think I'm going to control it. Okay, so according to all our talents, we all have these embarrassing moments that we face, you know? 
that moment, you know, Joey Landa always speaks of her embarrassing moment when she went to, was it, she went to Fort Porto, and all these, these Westerners knew that she, they all thought that it was, they thought, like, they knew she was going to go to, like, she was going to perform. Reaching there, they thought it was Nina Rose. Because she wore a wig. They're like, we want Joey Landa, we don't want this woman. They, they are shamed on stage, they beat her bottles. We have also seen several functions where these musicians get embarrassed, as in their clothes getting damaged. So I'm going to start with mine. My embarrass the most embarrassing moment I've had when it comes to my talent. Stammering on stage. You know, your friend, it's like moving, your friends are moving this side, and you're moving on the right, for them they're moving on the left. Me, actually, me, I don't get it. I don't even be there and be like, eh, hey, I'm lost, I keep moving. If they're going that side, I'll, I'll give a, a round turn, like I'll find them, like it was my own thing. So, that was my embarrassing. I haven't yet met others, though I'm still seeing. So, you're all going to tell me embarrassing moments, and how you also, because. My embarrassing moment. I think uh, it's when you break, when I go look for news, and I think I'm the only one who knows about it. <laughs> then I tell someone about it, and they're like, oh, "You didn't know? We were <laughs> we already knew about this." <laughs> so like that that makes it makes me feel like no, Kathy haven't researched enough. You haven't you haven't you have to know more than anyone else. How can they know before you? So it it embarrasses me to be the information minister and. I'm let out, dated on information. Then another embarrassing moment is maybe um, when when I'm singing a song, something like that. Then the lyrics is not the correct one, something like that. And then someone sings, so I'm like, so I was listening to the lyrics all along. So that is those are the two things, and also maybe tripping, tripping like over the stairs, and you know students will laugh at you. And then you are a mini statue, okay, just like from warning someone from doing something, and then you fall. That is so embarrassing, yeah. I can never forget mine. It was like in Form 1. So like some guys had some dope presentations, and they were like, who wants to challenge? So foolishly, I saw my hand going up. Now, when I went on stage, they were like, what song do you want? And I was like, <clears throat> okay, I first froze there. And then I was like, I, 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 give me a um, mask off. Now, like, I thought they were going to, like, you know, let me mime, like, you know, like, the music is in the background. My lyrics were terrible. <laughs> So like, <laughs> I was busy, yeah, miming, people were feeling my vibe, like, you know, vibes, eh? and then they cut the music. I was like, ta, 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 eh, man. <laughs> Just know, like, guys first called me ta, ta, ta for some time. And another time it was like, oh, well, what was happening? Like, these guys wanted someone, and you know, I wasn't minding my own business. I just joined the conversation, and then they were like, yo, pick the microphone and call this guy to the DJ's booth. Now, now like, the, the whole place was quiet. No one was, like, speaking. Like, you know those weird moments where people are just silent? Then I was like, yo, his name was Isaac. Yo, Isaac, you're needed in the DJ's box. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just no people started laughing. They were like, Who is that? Who is that? Seeing that one kid who was singing ta 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 <laughs> two weeks ago, I was like, Is <laughs> it? So, for the part of volleyball, my embarrassing moment it's when you get hit by a ball on your forehead. First of all, my forehead height is just enough, <laughs> but you will get hit by, like, by the ball, and people will celebrate, and they will mock you, then hide. The times you reach on court, then they will shout, a short ribello, short ribello. Market where the short ribello? 
you know you are short, but they want to emphasize it. They will hit your forehead. People will just make sure that they make you feel uncomfortable. Then other embarrassing moments in real life. Problems with barbers. I've had problems with barbers. <laughs> but hair is like weed. Well, as for my case, one time we were on stage. I was dancing. I'm very confident. People are shouting, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Now, I don't know what happened. I almost fell. Moreover, I almost fell on my face, like directly on my face. And I just imagined falling, falling. And I don't know. Then there is also this irrelevant one when some teacher mentioned my name at the assembly in Form 1. And yet she was coming in for the first lesson. For real. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so for me, I think mine are also like for way back. So this, when I had just joined basketball in senior one, and we're having like a match, we're having a normal match. Like we had some training and they were like, okay, so today we're going to have a match. It's going to be the senior ones and the senior twos. So we go, we are playing, the match is going on so well. So I get the ball and I shoot. But like it was, the ball was with the other team. We had already reached like the other side of the court where they were supposed to score. So after me managing to get the ball, I shoot and I celebrate. I celebrated and yet I had scored for the other team. And I, I was like so happy because it was my very first one. I was so happy. I was like, finally, finally. And then everyone is like so quiet. I'm like, okay, why aren't they happy with me? Like they should be celebrating. I mean, form one, I just shot. But then... They were like, you shoot for them, and Trina. <laughs> I, I felt so embarrassed, and I was like, okay, what, how am I going to fix it? I couldn't fix it. Then the other one, I was like, I was just showing off. You know the things of like you're feeling yourself, you know? You're with your friend, you're just feeling yourself, and you're like walking away now. I turned, and just like two steps, I hit a pole. <laughs> like, I, my head got swollen. Like, I got like this, they call it a potato, I got this chimonde. On my head, you guys, it, it stayed for like some four days, I think, and then it went down. But my, like, just like I think mine might be worse, but my forehead is already there. So it just got swollen and it was so visible and it was not cool. But I, I, I learned to live with it. Yeah. So mine here, mine is from long ago, but anyway. So this is me presenting at church. You know, I'm a church girl. So this is me presenting a chat, some kind of song, uh, Mama by Judith Mavidi. I even remember it very well. So I'm singing, you know people like young children, eh? I'm singing, they are bringing money there. So my hands get full. This Asha did not put a basket in front. So they had to give me the money in my hands. So something of two coins fall down, and this is me, I put down the microphone, pick my money up, and then I get back to my friend. I start from where I ended. And so everyone started laughing. From there, you tell me, Esther, come and go and sing. I'm like, where? I cannot go back there. Because what if I put down the microphone again? How will people look at me? Two coins like this. And then, you know, it was just so funny that people laughed. Actually, up to now, people come, hey, that girl, Judith Babide, Judith Babide. But it was so embarrassing. Um, my most embarrassing moment was the first time when we participated in chess competitions back in Form 2, which wasn't so long ago. It was, since a game is about two hours, if you lose before something like 10 minutes, you're called a weak link or something like that. And there is what they call a fool's mate in chess. An average chess game is about 40 to 50 moves per person, and the fool's mate takes place only after four moves. So we went there, I sat down, I was playing board four, which was the weakest player. So when I sat at the board four, we were all like, okay, press your timers. So he started pressing the timers. My opponent played his first move, I played my second, he played his second, actually. <laughs> then I got fools mated. And when you're mated in chess, it's a must that you have to say mate. And when he said mate, everyone stopped what they were doing and looked at me. Then my teammate was like, already? <laughs> <laughs> then, and after you losing, you have to get out. 
as I was going out, one of the arbiters, those are like the referees, was like, are you done? I didn't know what to tell him. I was like, no, I'm just going out. I forgot something. <laughs> so <laughs> then ever since that time, I learned to be more careful with how I play and everything when it comes to life, you know? If you rush, you crash. Uh, now for me, my most embarrassing moment, uh, yeah, it was on court. I feel insecure sharing it with you viewers. <laughs> yeah, because, but don't snake though. So anyway, uh, it was, you know how they say impression is a master of flirting. So I wanted to impress some girl. I remember I used to have some nice, some nice stockings whenever I used to go on court. They had like Batman on them. Like I would look cool. I mean, regardless of me being black and like I come on court, I feel like I'm the biggest man. Eh? I have Batman on my stockings. Eh? The rest of other people are wearing some kind of like sport. Some guy would wear football stockings. I mean, like basketball. But anyway, so like we all, you all know, we have evil secrets. So behind a shiny, like okay, anything that shines, there is something queer behind it. So like, regardless of my nice Batman stockings, they were nice though. Yeah, there was a dark secret. They had holes. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, so like, I liked them so much that like, I couldn't let them go after the holes. Like, I mean, I had a lot of stockings, but I like, these are my Batman stockings. And like, I had some long neck basketball shoes, so like, I'd wear them all the time. Like, my hall would be safe, safe, like, you know, like, because I was trying to impress some people. So then, there was this one time when we were playing, then after, like, we won, and I was too excited. Eh? I got too excited that I, like, forgot I had a hole in my stockings and removed my shoes. <laughs> and, like, everybody looking, and, like, like, Lama, what, what song was on? Like, what song was song? Everybody kept quiet and started laughing at me. I'm like, what song? And like, going to look, everybody's laughing at my holes. I think they saw the holes in me. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How I overcame that, I bought new stockings. <laughs> okay, coming to me, really, I don't have that funny embarrassment. Though, this, there was this one time, it was P7 VAC, it was our team, uh, the veterans versing the Kenyan Eagles. So those guys had come all the way from Kenya and guys were like, man, look at these guys, you can whoop them. I'm like, really? Then there was that one short guy in the team. So I was the one who, I was, the one who was meant to man mark him. So then. As I looked at him, I'm like, this guy is young. I can do all my stuff on him. So the time when they passed to him the ball, everybody expect, ex expected me to get that ball away from him. But surprisingly, he dribbled me. He gave me a nut neck, and I sat down. And I looked at, the, I looked at everyone. I'm like, I didn't expect this. Then a minute after, I was subbed. They were like, you can't embarrass me like that. And I'm like, easy coach. And I didn't play the next two games. Then in the next, the, after those two games, I was put, because the first game I was playing eight. In the second game, they gave me to play 11. So playing 11, everybody knows that I'm fast and I can get the ball. So they gave me some, another short defender. I'm like, guys, can't you stop with the height thing? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we shall go. So as I was running, I know that the defender is short, I'm faster than him, I have more legs than him as I'm running. So then he taps the ball, he gives me a kanzu, again he passes it in under my legs, I'm like, ah, this, this can't happen. Then again, as I was getting the ball, I slid and I sat down. So he first stepped on the ball, he looked at me, then he passed it. My short guy. Then after that, the coach was like, you're done for the time. Again, they served me. 
And ever since then, I'm like, I, I won't play with short people. <laughs> <laughs> they might be short, but their skills are way taller than me. Thank you. So all we've learned is not to judge a book by its cover, not to give up, to keep on pushing. Um, I just want to thank you all our viewers for standing by our side and supporting us in everything we do. I just want to leave you all with one quote that my mother used to tell me. It's actually more of a story. She told me, life is not as easy as you want it to be. You know, when you, when you want your life to always be, you know, so simple, it will be on a flat line. And if you've seen in hospitals, when that thing eh, is just straight like this, you are dead. But then if it is going up and down, up and down, you're so alive and kicking, your heart is pumping. So I just want to encourage all of you to keep pushing. Do not give up. You can make it. And do not forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. This is Lavisco TV.